What's up everybody, it's your boy KC back with another FL Studio tutorial and today I'm going to show you guys a secret knob that no one really knows what it does in FL Studio. I mean when I first started I didn't really know what it was either. I didn't have good enough equipment to hear what it did and I didn't have good speakers or good headphones probably like a lot of some of you. So invest in yourself to get good speakers and stuff so you can hear what this does so you can be completely amazed. Um, but for some of you that do have good headphones and good speakers and you just really never know what this knob did, it's going to open up a whole new world for your mixing. And the knob I'm going to talk about right now is this knob right here. A lot of people don't know what this knob is. A lot of people think this knob is a panning knob and they are not correct. This is where you pan on the mixer if you're not panning in your um, step sequencer right here. This is where you pan on that. But this is the pan knob there and this knob right here that is a stereo imager. Um, where that comes in really, first of all, it makes your mix is way wider and it can make, so like say for me in this beat right here I'm making, I have three plucks layered right now. And they sound good how they are, but I just, it's a trap beat, so basically the melody is going to be carrying the whole thing throughout the whole song. So I want that to be big, I want that to take up most of the mix. Um, it doesn't seem big enough right now, so I'm going to show you kind of how the stereo imager works and how you could probably use it in your songs too. So I'm going to play the beat a little bit and let you guys hear it and then I'm going to show you what it does and I'm going to tell you a little bit about it more. So, basically in the intro, that was my melody that I want to carry out throughout the whole song. Um, like I said, this doesn't seem big enough right now. Um, so, that's where I, I use my stereo imager. Um, so, I got my piano here, my, my regular piano that I started with. And I added another piano to get a little bit uh, higher end out of it. And then I added this plug. Now it seems full enough for me, but it doesn't seem big enough for me. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the stereo imager to make the pluck wide, and then I'm going to leave one of the pianos like where it is, and I'm going to make one of the pianos pretty much mono. So when you want to make things mono with the stereo imager, you turn it all the way to the right, and when you want to make it super wide and super stereo, you just turn it all the way to the left. Now those are extremes, you can adjust the taste or whatever. Um, I was messing around with the track earlier so I kind of know how I want it. But I'm going to basically put the pluck wide as possible and it'll fill it out like crazy. So check this out. Okay, before. Alright, so now you guys know what that knob does, that secret little trick. Um, hopefully you guys learned something from this. If you did, please hit that like button. If you found it informational, please share it. Um, again, check out the website, www.kc-beats.com. Um, for artists, I do have a newsletter sign up, and if you sign up, I'll send you two beats with standard leasing, so be sure to check that out. Once again, it's your boy KC. Y'all be easy.